Good morning, this is Pastor Brian. Thank you for joining me today as we read a psalm a day. Today we're reading Psalm 71. I'll be reading it from the Common English Bible. And follow along in your favorite translation or just listen as we read Psalm 71 together. I've taken refuge in you, Lord. Don't let me ever be put to shame. Deliver me and rescue me by your righteousness. Bend your ear toward me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, where I can always escape. You commanded that my life be saved, because you are my rock and my fortress. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked. Rescue me from the grip of the wrongdoer and the oppressor, because you are my hope, Lord. You, Lord, are the one I've trusted since childhood. I've depended on you from birth. You cut the cord when I came from my mother's womb. My praise is always about you. I've become an example to many people because you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, glorifying you all day long. Don't cast me off in old age. Don't abandon me when my strength is used up. Yes, my enemies have been talking about me. Those who stalk me plot together. God has abandoned him. Pursue him. Grab him because no one will deliver him. Don't be far from me, God. My God, hurry to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame, completely finished off. Let those who seek my downfall be dressed in insults and disgrace. But me, I will hope, always. I will add to all your praise. My mouth will respect your righteous acts and your saving deeds all day long. I don't even know how many of those there are. I will dwell in your mighty acts, my Lord. Lord, I will help others remember nothing but your righteous deeds. You've taught me since my youth, God, and I'm still proclaiming your wondrous deeds. So, even in my old age with gray hair, don't abandon me, God. Not until I tell generations about your mighty arm. Tell all who are yet to come about your strength and about your ultimate righteousness, God, because you've done awesome things. Who can compare to you, God? You who have shown me many troubles and calamities will receive me once more. From the depths of the earth, you will raise me up one more time. Please increase my honor and comfort me all around. Then I'll give you thanks with a harp. I will thank you for your faithfulness, my God. I will make music for you with the lyre, holy one of Israel. My lips will rejoice aloud when I make music for you. My whole being, which you saved, will do the same. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all day long, because those who seek my downfall have been put to shame and disgraced. Well, that's the end of Psalm 71. What did you hear? What did you like? What stuck out to you? What was it that, you know, just kind of caught your attention as soon as you heard it or read it? One of the things that kind of stuck out to me is on verse 20, it says, You who have shown me many troubles and calamities will revive me once more. From the depths of the earth, you will raise me up one more time. You know, I think, and just before that, it talks about God's awesome things and who can compare to God. You know, I think, you know, it talks about uh, raising him up once more. And I don't think that he literally is talking about from death to life, but just from all of the trouble and the sorrow uh, that he, that the psalmist is experiencing that we see in these the the first half of the psalm and i think that that statement there and that is uh verse 20 i think it it's kind of a statement that talks about you know understanding that with god you know we we, we start fresh we start new and that god lifts us up from the the places that we have been uh, that we find ourselves in, whether it's our own cause for the trouble or others as frequently, you know, the Psalms usually typically look towards other people as the reason for the calamities and troubles that they're enduring, as verse 20 puts it. And so, 
you know, I just like that idea that, you know, God does these awesome things and that God will is the one who will lift us up from the earth and raise us up one more time. You know, just that, you know, that idea that we are, again, not alone, but that God is with us and that God gives us strength and that God is the one who pulls us out from the dirt. And uh, I just love that image that when we fall, uh, we are picked up again by God and that God is there to pick us up and to take notice of us. And in that, then the psalmist celebrates later in the psalm. So again, what did you hear? What did you like? What didn't you like? Is that how you interpreted this verse? Uh, That's just kind of how I read it as, uh, you know, one possible translation or understanding of that particular portion of the text. But again, that's what stuck out to me. Find something that stuck out to you and write it down. Share it with a friend. Share it with us. Take care of yourself. Stay safe and God bless.